Hey everyone, and thanks for being here. We are continuing to build on our trip planner application. I will be demonstrating how to use Power Automate to add an email notification to our to-do list table. Every time a new to-do list item is created, the user will be able to input an email to the form, and when the user submits the form, an email will be sent with the details for that specific to-do list item. So one thing to note is that Microsoft has changed entities to tables and fields to columns. The first thing we're going to do inside of our maker portal is we're going to navigate to our trip planner solution. Once we're in the trip planner solution, we will go to our to-do list table and we're going to create a new column called email and the data type will be email as well. Once we have that new column created, we're going to travel back to our trip planner, click new flow, and this will take you to power automate. You will be redirected to this Power Automate UI. Once you're here, you're going to select My Flows from the left hand navigation. And you're going to select Automated from Blank. You'll give your flow a name. And for the trigger, we're going to select the Common Data Service. What this means is that when a user adds an email to our to do list item, the common data service is going to be the trigger. So when a record is created, updated, or deleted is what we're going to select. And we're going to hit create. Then you will be taking to the Power Automate flow for you to keep building on it. For the trigger condition, we're going to select create or update. So when a user creates or updates an email, an email notification will be sent to that email. The entity name is to-do list. So you can just start typing. And the scope, we're going to hit organization. We're going to hit new step, and you're just going to start typing this email. So here we are choosing an action. We can choose any type of action. For our case, we're going to do a simple send an email every time a record is created, updated, or deleted. And here, since we've already added email, we're going to just dynamically add it. So we're just going to search for that email column that we've created, add it that way. And for the subject, we can add any of the columns that we've added previously. So for example, we want to add in the item name and say something like item name has been assigned to you. And for the body, we can add whatever we want to this too. So say we want to add the description and let's see, maybe the quantity and the status. We can add all of those and they will be added dynamically for whatever is input already in the portal. Once you're done customizing this email notification, however you'd like, you can click save. There are some limitations when you do have the developer subscription that uh, we have created for this demonstration. So we actually won't be able to enable it, but if you do purchase a uh, different subscription, you should be able to use Power Automate to its full capability. Once you're ready to test it, you can click test and say, I'll perform the trigger action. Hit test, and you'll want to navigate to where you're actually going to trigger this uh, flow. So we're gonna navigate to our trip planner portal. And once we're here, we're going to go to update trip details. Once you've done that, you can hit submit and this will trigger this flow to finish and you will get an email with all of the dynamic information that you've added inside the flow. Once again, thank you so much for joining today. I've had the pleasure of showing you how easy it is to send an email notification using Power Automate. All of this can be done through Power Apps in your solution. Make your websites more dynamic by adding email notifications and any other templates that you can use inside Power Automate. Best of luck.